The Circulatory System The circulatory system one of the most important systems in the human body. It transports the needed blood and nutrients in the body. It consists of, the heart, blood, and blood vessels. The circulatory system is a transport system of the body. It is responsible for the distribution of blood and other nutrients throughout the body. It is made up of heart, blood and blood vessels namely veins, arteries and capillaries. These vessels carry oxygenated and deoxygenated blood in the body. These are the parts of the circulatory system. Blood. The blood is the liquid part that is constantly flowing throughout the body. It is composed of a liquid part called plasma and the solid parts of formed components which are the red blood cells known as the erythrocytes that transport gases to and from the cells. The white blood cells or leukocytes play a vital role in the body's immune system. They fight bad bacteria, viruses and others that cause infection. The last formed components are the platelets or thrombocytes. They are the smallest of formed components of blood that help in blood clotting. Blood Vessels The blood vessels are the vast networks of small tubes that carry blood throughout the body. The arteries are blood vessels that carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart. Veins carry deoxygenated blood back to the heart. The capillaries are the smallest blood vessels which serve as a connection between arteries and veins. When blood passes through them, oxygen, food nutrients and wastes pass in and out through capillary walls. Blood Circulation The circulatory system has two types of circulation, the pulmonary circulation which is the movement of deoxygenated blood from the heart and into the lungs and systemic circulation which is the movement of oxygenated blood from the heart to the different parts of the body. Heart The heart is known as the pumping organ of the body. It keeps the blood moving throughout the body and the average heartbeat of human is 60 to 100 times per minute. It has four chambers, the left and right atrium which are responsible for receiving used blood coming from all parts of the body and the left and right ventricles known as the pumping chambers. When it's contracts, oxygen-rich blood is forced away from the heart for the distribution to the different parts of the body. Between atrium and ventricles are valves, the overlapping tissue that allows blood to flow in one direction.